Welcome to Real Physics. Soon the 2025 Nobel Prize in Physics will be awarded. And of course, you can speculate about who will be the laureates. And not that I think that the Nobel Prize is such a great accomplishment because we have had terrible Nobel Prizes in the last decades. And I sincerely hope it will be not another particle physics nonsense or even worse, some string or inflation or multiverse crap or yeah also these ambitious i want to get the nobel prize with my press conference like m87 does not deserve a nobel prize but if you consider serious physics well i think uh, michael berry could be a candidate for the geometric phases which is very interesting but it's not very likely maybe they pull out of the head some technological development you can't really predict that. But of course, artificial intelligence is still on the table. We had Goffrey Hinton and Hopfield last year for, say, algorithms. And uh, well, a candidate could be Jürgen schmidt -Huber because he invented the long short-term memory, which is a precursor of the transformer model. And even he had developed the precursor of that transformer architecture, which was decisive in the development of the modern multimodal models so let's be curious and let me know in the comments and maybe you have the right guess who will get it and well don't forget i mean who really deserved the nobel prize these were the guys at the beginning of the 20th century i sh think einstein should have gotten something like six nobel prizes and maybe niels bohr two or three and dirac and schrodinger these were the real big accomplishments of physics and usually today we have some well okay physical technical accomplishments and minor theoretical insights but there is a lack of progress in fundamental physics this has cultural reasons as i discussed in my book and we certainly have a lot to discover in fundamental physics if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you're interested in real fundamental physics subscribe to this channel